There was a lot of auditions. Certain parts of the film were being rehearsed and read, but not really put together in a way that a table read allows one to see the overall film. Um, even people who just sat there to listen really went through the story and understood and really felt the, the emotions and, and the chemistry between the actors and, and you know, just really drove everyone to the next level of motivation. I remember, I remember going in and I, and I think Graham had said something like, oh, like, you're gonna meet all these like people, the cast, the crew, everybody. And he had said something along the lines of, um, what do you want to bring to this project? Think about it, like think about what you're gonna um, bring to this project. And immediately as like the lead of this film with all these people, I was like, well, I want to I want to be able to set a tone. I want to be able to work from a place of professionalism where um, I'm working the hardest that I possibly can at every moment and connecting with everybody on set and making this project the best it could possibly be. And hopefully um, by doing that, I will it will have a, some somewhat of a trickle down effect and the tone can shift just by doing that. I remember that table read being really magical actually, just getting to, and I think we, we really went all out like in the table read and um, it was just an incredible experience to be able to be in the space, like building the actual uh, set in the space, but also um, building the foundation of what this project would become. A cigarette dangles from Ari's lips, his mind raises, he fumes, he smacks the wall phone with the handset. I've never been around professional actors before and I remember I was a little starstruck, I was like, man, like this is, this is for real. And everyone was doing, they came in in character that day. Everybody felt like they were highly professional and had it down to the T. And I remember that day, the table read. I was I was shooting everything, and I had learned to to calm down with how much I was shooting and get the really most important parts. And one of the most important parts I shot that day was uh, towards the end when the the emotions got really high in uh, in the film. I remember I, I turned to look at the director, Graham Streeter, and I. I got a nice close shot of him like getting emotional because all of that work that he put from the beginning finally paid off. It's going to happen. Everyone has come together. It's all planned out. It's going to happen this next, uh, I think it was the following week. So it was good to see and get that on camera, get that emotion of what he was feeling to finally be doing what he, his project that he envisioned. Well, these are unprecedented times. And you're right, sex isn't what defines a relationship. And one might argue that you dove in kind of early. Uh, the first time we read it during the table read, I actually thought I would cry. <laughs> and I remember coming in and being like, don't do it. You're just meeting these people for the first time. They don't need to know how sensitive you are, you know, get through it. And I think that probably actually kept me from the tears flowing. And I was also really nervous <laughs> to come in and meet everybody. So yeah, I, did, I didn't cry at all, but I remember looking around the room at the end of the table read and there were probably like half of them, half of everyone there had tears on their face because that ending is very impactful. So yeah, but I held it together. <laughs> Seeing them put their all into a table read, it was emotional. I felt like it was the first time as a writer that I got to feel the, the whole story unfold without my effort. I could just sit back and also knowing who we had chosen to play those roles and affirming that they were right for the role it felt really good and i i think that was like that was a that's always like a, a magic moment when you realize okay yeah i think everyone here is going to just nail it and uh if you pick the right actor to do the work half of the work is done zane actually came over to me and introduced himself and i was like oh my god we're gonna do this together you know so it was great meeting him for the first time he seemed very open very like calm and that's how i read ari to be like so i wouldn't say introverted but 
always running through his head like what what's next how do i get through this what's going on am, am i in the right place am i doing the right thing so i got that vibe from him right away hi my name is danielle i'm playing uh dr emily i hope to bring warmth and compassion to the set and especially in the role and considering the heavy topics that we're going through i hope we can experience and remember how other people feel when they're actually going through those things in life and I can maintain that throughout the performance. And I'm super excited. It's very, it's very the fun. table read <laughs> is very interesting. Again, my first table read and what Graham had us do was all go around at the very beginning, introduce ourselves, introduce our roles and say why we wanted to be a part of the project. So that already helped you understand the group of people that you were working with because everyone said something that was very like, touching and sweet and personal to them. And we had a cast with, with I, I believe, like lesbians and bisexuals and homosexuals. And it was great to be a part of that experience and feel just the warmth from everybody. As far as the piece went, I didn't get emotional at all. I felt like with Dr. Ainsworth, she was very uh, strong, I guess is the word, in who she was, in her capabilities in her desire to help Ari and all the other people that she um, interacted with. So I think she had that like strong sense of self to begin with that she knew where she was coming from and she knew what her end goal was and she didn't necessarily know how she would get there, but she knew what she wanted to accomplish and hoped to gain with Ari for him as well as for herself. So the emotional side never came up, but I remember being at home and reading it and like when you really think about the words and about what Ari's character goes through. It's a lot and it's heavy and it's, it's sad, you know? Everyone was really happy and, and really excited about the film. And then we went into quarantine for the next 10 days before we were to shoot. And I think that that really helped everyone to feel grounded, to be mentally prepared and understood that with all of the work, all of the prep, they had these 10 days to really um, psych themselves up.